I'm the creator of What Your Favorite Composer Says About Your Personality, and in this video I want to share with you the backstory of the video and what my favorite composers are. First of all, the video is based on a meme that I can't remember, I think I saw it on Reddit or somewhere, and because I didn't have my camera with me, I thought, why not make a video out of this? Now let's see what my personality is like. He's the GOAT, he's the greatest composer of all time, and his music is intellectual as well as spiritual. That's why Bach listener is smart. Although I think I'm wrong with the fact that Beethoven is conservative, somehow his old grumpy ass, especially that picture, reminds me of conservatives like Donald Trump. First of all, I'm not dashing on construction workers at all. They're extremely important for society, basically for everything that the whole world runs. So if you haven't gotten the joke, Mozart's music can be extremely repetitive. He always uses very similar chord progressions. Still, he's a genius, but definitely not my favorite composer. I love Mahler. If you listen to one of his symphonies and you don't feel like you're watching a Christopher Nolan movie, you're doing something wrong. Bruckner was very religious and his music is often very deep and sad but still hopeful. That's why I wrote that you take your strength out of tragedy. I do really like Bruckner. Maybe this makes me a sick person. Who knows? No one seems to get this one. Brahms has some kind of perfection in his music that makes it, I want to say, cold, because that's not true, but I think Hannibal Lecter would probably really like Brahms. Schubert is the antidote to Beethoven. Beethoven was more harsh, his changes and dynamics are more radical, and Beethoven seems way more aggressive than Schubert. I do like Schubert, his unfinished or the C major symphony are pretty awesome, but also definitely not my favorite composer. Why pineapple on pizza? Listen to the music underneath, then you will know why. He mixes up chords that don't fit together technically, but they do sound great. Same with pineapple on pizza. And I know it's called pineapple, I wrote ananas on purpose. I guess this one's obvious. Just listen to his music. If you don't want to jump off a cliff afterwards, I think there's something wrong with you. I do really like Ramon enough, don't know what that says about me. I'm not a depressive person, but I like the emotional depth when listening to him. It's like you can see life through a magnifying glass and that's just incredible. I guess this one's obvious too. Impressionism is like a dream, an impression. And I find the universe that Ravel creates with his music really difficult to describe with words. That's the power of music. Absolutely love Ravel, definitely in my top 10. Read the plot of Le Sacre du Printemps, then you know what I mean. And yes, I do like Stravinsky. I think this video says more about me than it says about most other people watching it. Basically, every characterization can be used to put me into a political spectrum and identify my personality traits. And I really hope I don't get cancelled for this. If you want to impress your uncle or grandparents on the piano, you play a list. That's it. And I do like him. Watch the opera Salome. It's brutal. Salome is an absolute maniac. But it's a great opera and I do really like Strauss. No words needed, great composer, but could not compose for orchestra, or at least there is no famous piece for orchestra from Chopin. A lot of you guys could really relate to Tchaikovsky. How did I come up with this? Take the Nutcracker Ballet. Clara, the main character, falls in love with the Nutcracker that had transformed into a man. They went through some adventures together and at the end she woke up and it was all a dream. It's the wish for a better reality, the pain of wasted time, wasted years of one's life, the ugly truth that life is not as it is like in a perfect dream, 
and that hurts. And yes, Tchaikovsky is my favorite composer. There's incest in Wagner's ring cycle and death is all-encompassing in his operas. Take Tristan and Isolde, both main characters die at the end. I do like Wagner. I don't like Verdi as you might expect it. Most people who love him are in fact all people who don't go to the opera except for Nabucco and Aida. So that's my take on Verdi. Puccini is a real vibe and it's just all about love, also the orchestration, the whole atmosphere of Puccini is romantic. He, I think with Wagner, Strauss and Mozart together were the greatest opera composers of all time and I would probably say that Puccini is my favorite opera composer. I don't like Haydn. For me, Haydn is like a worse Mozart. Same for Verdi. His music seems too happy all the time. I'm missing the drama and the emotional death. So that's my take on Haydn. Never heard a single person who said that Handel was their favorite composer. Never. Yes, the person on the left is not Leonardo DiCaprio, it's Debussy. They look very similar. Debussy's music is quite diverse, it's not as easy to grasp as Ravel's. And because it is so out of this world, I just chose that statement. I didn't know what else to put in there. This is actually very interesting. Mendelssohn was the guy who was responsible for making Bach famous. He basically rediscovered the Matthew passion and performed it for the first time again after Bach's death. That's why he's the guy behind the scenes. This also resonated with a lot of people. And you know why? Because it's true. The biggest Chesakovich fans are teenagers who play in youth symphony orchestras. How can I be so sure? Because I played in one of them and everyone loves Chesakovich. I do very much enjoy his fifth symphony. Definitely worth to check out. Except for German music theory teachers, I don't know a single person who really likes Schimberg, and I'm not sorry to say that. So many people wrote in the comments, Sibelius is from Finland and Ikea is from Sweden. I know, that's a joke. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, that's just true. Dvorak is just awesome. Symphony 8 and 9 are both amazing. A lot of different time signatures in a very short amount of time, extremely difficult to play and also filled with violence. Yeah, that's Bartok. I don't know much about Prokofiev, just that a lot of Asian folks play his sonatas and they are ridiculously difficult. There are some pieces I like from Clara Schumann, but she doesn't come close to any of the other composers here on the list. Maybe she's close to Handel, Haydn or Verdi. But I just put this political statement on the list to screw with people's minds. <laughs> 